So the topic of today's lesson was seven tips to build up a habit of reading the Bible daily. Mm-hmm. So I was I was really encouraged by by these uh, seven steps. Well, so the first one is is to pray for a hunger of God's word. We see on mm-hmm. Psalms 119, 103 uh, that says, "How sweet are you, your your words to my taste, mm-hmm. sweeter than honey." Uh, this is a, a very like important step in in our daily uh, pray, uh, reading of, of the Bible because if we don't actually ask the Lord for this hunger, we're just gonna like like vaguely you like look around in, in the Bible and we're not gonna like set ourselves in the Bible. But when we ask for this uh, hunger for God's word, we can see that how uh, we're gonna be able because we're gonna need ha- have a need for for reading the Bible now with this. Uh, by praying for a hunger for God's word, and the second point was to set a to set a, t- a time. It doesn't have, the best time obviously is it, it, in the mornings. For me, it's always like an hour b- before I go to work, just because I don't have anything. I don't have uh, any messages on on my phone, and and I have n- like non distractions. So the best thing to to set a time to read the Bible is always in the, in the mornings. There's always other uh, like like uh, times, which is like on the launch break or just at any any time is is good. But the but the most like like uh, important time is also in the mornings. Oh, um, and the third point is to read cons- consecutively, mm-hmm. and and this is also very important because many times, well, in my experience, I've have realized that. I've always like jumped from chapter to chapter and sometimes I don't see a, a continuation of, of what I'm reading because many times I get lost through my readings or I, I'm just like not on 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 what I have to be, you know. So by reading consistent cons- consecutively, we ha- we're able to like just get to see the full vision that God wants to show us on that sh- specific chapter. Uh, mm. The fourth point is to turn your your heart to the Lord. This is also a very important point because when we read the Bible, we have to realize that it is very important to turn our hearts to the Lord first. Because Mm -hmm. when we turn our hearts to the Lord first, we're giving the Lord the first place and we're able to become one with God. So when we're one with God and we read the Bible, we get to see what he wants us to show us in the Bible. And there's Mm -hmm. and there and and he just he's going to expand in ourselves just by us turning our hearts to him mm, the fifth is to pray over what you read it's and, and this is very important for me because i've realized that as oh uh for example when we eat food we have to like 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 chew our food we have to like actually like like taste it you know like for, in order like for us to taste what, what we, we're, we're eating mm-hmm. if we just like like take it up on one bite, we're not gonna see what the the content of, of our food is, but mm-hmm. when we bite it and when we start like chewing it, we we have those tastes, and that's the same with, with when when we pray over what we read, because mm-hmm. when we pray over what what we read, we're able to uh to chew the the word because sometimes a lot of verses are really like hard like to to read and and it just like we don't get it at the first time, right? But when we pray, read a, a verse, we, we're able to understand it because now um, we're we're shooting the like the verse that we're that we're reading, and we're able to understand it more. Amen. And the sixth point is to keep track of of your Bible reading. Mm-hmm. Many times I've realized in my experience that uh, I think I'm I'm reading in in a slow pace, and I'm I'm just not seeing the growth. But mm-hmm. when we actually like see uh, when we like check more and like the chapters one by one, we're able to see our growth in right. in, in in every chapter. But many times we don't see it because we don't have a we, we don't keep track or, of what we're reading, and and that's why it's very important to keep track on it because that way we're able to see where we were and now mm-hmm. where we at. Amen. So, uh, and the seventh point and the last one is to guard against distractions. Many times, uh, this is uh, well. This is also a very crucial in a, in a reading of the Bible because when we uh, read the Bible, it's, it is it is uh, very much re- recommended to read the Bible physically with a physical book because mm-hmm. that way we're just focused on on the reading of the Bible. In my experience, when I read the Bible and and, and on the cell phone, there's always notifications, emails that mm-hmm. I get to my phone, and 
And when I'm reading a verse, uh, on the on the next one, I get a I get a message and I I get lost. I'm mm -hmm. I'm all over the place. I don't know where where I'm at now. Um, I don't know where I should start. So I I kind of like lose the the interest of of reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's very important to just uh, keep reading the Bible. Well, it, it is very recommended so we read the Bible on the physical book. So that way we we can just focus on reading the Bible. Oh, nice. So these are the seven points that I've enjoyed during this weekend. I hope. We practice them so we can be become able to to read the Bible more frequently and mm -hmm. to have a purpose of reading the Bible. Amen.